Shalom and blessings, my beautiful people. Once again, we're back at you with an urgent message. And today we're going to talk about the three defense weapons you are going to need, especially if you are in the Americas. And this message is really for my brothers and sisters of Yasharel and those who cleave to Yasharel who are in the Americas. Today we're going to break down the three basic defense weapons that you should have. If you don't have them, you need to go get them. And of course, always here at Judah United, we always come from a scripture. So let's start with Ecclesiastes 3.3. Before we get into this, let's go there. Ecclesiastes 3.3 says this, it's a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to break down and a time to build up. Right now is the time for us to build up and prepare. We know we, we serve a, a, a Elohim, all praise and esteem to Yahuwah of hosts. We serve an Elohim who um, made David's famous to the points where it said the young virgins used to say, David kills a thousand. Saul kills a thousand. David kills tens of thousands. Um, so when you really understand our scripture and you understand our Elohim, you understand there is a time where we have to protect ourselves. And that goes all the way into what some call the New Testament. Even the Hamashiach knew there was a time when you needed to make sure that you could protect yourself and you had your sword. So let's go there and then we'll get into the three main basic defense weapons you're going to need for what is coming. Every one of my brood brothers should have this. And we're also going to talk about uh, what my sister should have. Let's go to Luke 22, 36. Luke 22, 36 says this. Then said he unto them, but now he that has a purse, let him take it. And likewise his script, and he that has no sword, let him sell his garment and buy one. Let him sell his garment and buy one. How much she I was saying in this scripture that if you ain't even got one, sell some of them shoes in the closet, sell some of them clothes, and make sure you have what you need because the time has come where you're going to need to be able to protect yourself. So the first basic weapon I think everyone should need is the Glock. What I have right here is the Glock 19. This is a Glock 19. Um, I think this is the basic base firearm handgun that every one of us should have. If you do not have this, get you a SIG. The reason I say that, uh, being someone who's dealt with firearms for a long time, uh, y'all has blessed me to grow, grow up around firearms. I've been dealing with firearms since I was like 12 years old. And one thing I could tell you, if you, you're going to get what you pay for. If you go and you spend $200, $300 on your firearm, nine times out of 10, you're going to get a firearm that is not going to perform at its best. We've had guns like Taurus and other, uh, even the Ruger sometimes. When you fire a certain amount of rounds through those weapons, sometimes they, 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 they just hang up or they won't fire. You have to reset it just to fire. And these are things that in a defense situation where you're trying to defend yourself uh, that could really get you in some trouble. You don't have those type of problems with the Glocks or the SIGs. So take the extra money and spend a couple extra hundred. You can get one of these for about $500. So the first base firearms, and that's, that's if all my sisters should have at least a Glock 43X or a Glock 19. The next one, all my brothers should have at least a 12 gauge. And these are, these are you can get one of these for about $200. This is something you should have, and you should have slugs in your gauge. The purpose that it performs is there is no vest that's going to take that slug so if someone comes in and they're vest up and they're protected up and they're trying to you know take advantage of you and your family and you're trying to protect yourself that gauge will get the job done no matter what they got going on uh, so that is the second 
base weapon that you should have. You should have these three. Every one of my brew brothers and sisters should have these three. And for the tribe that we are building, this is one thing that we require for all of us to carry our weight in this way. All our males should have these three weapons. The other, this is a base. This is our AR-15. This one in particular, you can get one of these. This is a Deltine. This doesn't cost a whole bunch of money. You can get one from anywhere to four to five hundred dollars. A base one. This one in particular has um, we we put some things on it, and um, I'll do consultations with any of my brothers. You can look down in the description. I'll get the information where you can reach out and do a consultation um, so that you can find out. But the things that we put on this one and everyone within my tribe. Hours, because y'all has blessed me to know the information, they have these capabilities legally. Video should be dropping. So with that being said, if you watch that, that's a much different situation than when you get one of these straight out the store and you're just going bang, bang, bang. It's a much dis different situation. This gives you the capability, especially when it's a few of our brothers together, a few of our Akis together. When we're together and we're doing that, it brings across uh, the, the knowledge. If it's someone smart, hey, let me leave them, them alone. So that's really what we want. Once things break down and collapse and it's coming, it's coming. So make sure that you're prepared. Make sure that you're storing up like Joseph in all the ways that storing up needs to be done because we know that civil unrest is coming. So those are the three base weapons that all of our brothers and sisters should have, especially before this election, because it's, it's brewing to, to look like this, this civil unrest it's coming sooner than we think. So it's very important that you make sure that you're ready, uh, that you're rounding out your plan, that you're uniting with your tribe. Uh, if you didn't watch the last video we put up, go check that out ASAP. I also put it down in the description. And also before I get off of here, um, go check out The Belly of the Beast. It's my very first published book. It's called The Belly of the Beast. This type of faith is the type of faith we're gonna need to get us through what is coming. <laughs> So this powerful, powerful uh, story um, that the Most High, or testimony, is not a story, the testimony that the Most High had me share through this book and what he took me through uh, in, in the land of Egypt really, really is the type of faith we're going to need to make it through this Egypt to get to the second exodus. So I suggest that every one of my brothers and sisters go purchase this book. It will sh extremely boost your faith just by a reading what I had to experience. It will boost your faith when you see how y'all moved on my behalf. It was such a blessing. All praises to Yahuwah of hosts. Hallelujah. Um, with that being said, peace and blessings. And we'll get at you on the next one. Once again, do not play. Do not allow this world to keep you distracted, keep pulling you away. Don't catch the Sunday game. Take time to really be seeking and praying to Yah on how you need to move in these times. Shalom and blessings. We'll catch you on the next one.